What's up YouTube, Mr. Lamassi here, and this is a 24 hour, or maybe now like 22, 21 hour emergency that you need to immediately log into, your, into Diablo 2 and play. I can't even speak, I'm so excited. This is absolutely crazy what's happening. So right now, there's this 22 days of Diablo Christmas, whatever thing, 22 nights of terror. Um, thingy mobobber i'm trying to find like the official uh thing here we go let's show it to you guys toy tonight's of terror holiday event and at first it started it started out kind of lame but essentially every single day online they're changing something online whatever it was so the first day um it was 24 hours of the cow level the second day it was uh, uh, or the cow level was a tear zone. The second day, every 15 minutes, the tear zones changed. The third day was 50% gold find uh, uh, did, added. And it's like, okay, whatever. All of this stuff is pretty boring. But day four here, they have changed it and it is 50% off vendor prices. And this then stacks with your additional edge bow and your uh, Jeed's charm as well. And so you can see now a ring costs 10,000 gold to gamble. Only 10,000 gold. An amulet is 12,600. I mean, you are getting insane discounts right here. These coronets are only 34 grand. A circlet is only 24 grand. And when you gamble these puppies, you know what happens? You can sell them back. This is selling back for almost the exact same value. So it's almost like an infinite money glitch. I farmed gold like an hour ago, it feels like, and I still have like six million of the nine million gold I farmed or something. Buy, buy, buy is all I can say. So you can just come in here and just go ham on buying your circlets look around for something good hey it's not bad and then of course you can sell them back for almost all the money that you spent on those circlets not quite you will slowly lose money but it's pretty darn good now questions you might have for me might include mr lema first off what is a good circlet um and that is a very difficult question but I can give you some general ideas. If a circlet has plus two to skills, it's a rare with two to skills and 20 FCR, that's generally a pretty good base right there. Um, if you add a couple other notable stats in, right, where you have, uh, you know, some strength, some life, some things like that, some resistances, now it's getting even better. Um, if you have a magic, this is where you start to get into some weird things. And I can kind of show off some of the weird things that I've uh, kept over here. Obviously, like, that is a really nice, um, you know, circlet right there. Two necro, 20 fast run walk, 30 faster cast rate. I put the shell rune. 66 to mana and 19 all res. Right? That's just, like, pretty solid. This is an amazing circlet. Three poison and bone skills with 30 faster run walk. And then it got socketed. So remember, you can take these magics to get socketed. And they get one or two sockets 50-50. This is Burr Bird for the damage reduction. This is for PvP. Um, but that just gives you kind of like an idea, right? This is another one that I have. Three P PNB with 20 FCR. And then I socketed it. Got two open sockets. And I put two poison facets in it. So this is for my poison necro. Um... Here's three to cold skills, 90 to life. Three to fire skills, 90 to life. 100 life, that would be great. This is not actually good, we can drop that. Um, two barb, 20 FCR, uh, or 20 FRW, right? It just missed. If this was FCR, that would have been a lot better and would have been nice with the strength and fire resist. With the FRW, it's not like awful. It's still, you know, an okay thing, 26 strength, but whatever. We got a 220 source. Doesn't really have anything else on it, but it does exist. And then there's even some strange things like this. If you find anything that has like jewelers, um, a lot of times it's going to have some value. So a jeweler's tiara of maiming right here uh, is pretty nice, right? And if I could get that like three open socket, 30 faster run walk, that would also be really nice. Um, so anything with 
with a jeweler's mod, an artisan's mod, can be still usually pretty decent on it. Uh, and then lastly, I'd say visionary circlets with some nice mods can be good. But you can even run into weird things like this, like this chromatic coronet of speed. If you get two open sockets in this, it could be okay, because it kind of has that similar idea to the, you know, three open socket, 30 faster run walk. Here you get two open socket, 30 faster run walk. Uh, you know, an Amazon using this would sack a little bit of damage right there, but they would be able to gain 24 all res, which is um, nice. So, um, you know, I'm just going through circlets and coronets, uh, whichever just kind of come up. You, to, for circlets, you want to be at least level 92. For coronets, you want to be at least level 87. So if you're doing both skins and just gambling through all of it, you want at least a level 92 character. Um, if you're only doing coronets, then you can do an 87 character. And then anytime you gamble, because notice it goes back and forth, anytime you gamble, circlet, coronet, whatever, you can just like refresh to only buy the uh, coronets right there. So that is kind of your basic idea. And here you can see like, oh, he's got the Jewelers Corner of the Sentinel, but it's magic damage reduced by two. So like, whatever, right? We can sell that. So that's why it's like, keep the ones that have like notable mods. Um, fun fact though, you can also get a Griffins doing this. So if you get a Diadem, which, you know, eventually pops out, you have a one in 2000 chance of it being unique and a one in a thousand chance of it being Mavinas. Um, so you can actually get a Griffins uh, through this right here, but it is actually insane how bustedly good this is. I mean, compared to the normal amount of gold it would cost, look at those res, 20 all res, 50 fire res. Oh my gosh. I wish that had a little other better stuff on it. Um, so yeah, you can you can just get so much. And remember, this is only going to last for the next like 20 hours, 18 hours, something like that. So get in there, get some gold. You don't need a ton of gold. Make yourself an edge bow. Tier Tal Am will work. Very simple. Get a three open socket bow. You can literally go to normal um, Charcy and shop one of these, just like a three open socket hunter bow. Shop that. Pop that puppy on, or a short bow, whichever. Pop that puppy on, get yourself your Jeeds, and this event is going on, and that's today's. I mean, like I say, it's it's pretty insane just how good it is. I'm just, I'm just blown away. So, good luck. I'd love to hear what you guys find down below. Post in the comments your best finds. Just give me a list of them. Uh, it's awesome. What a cool event. What a cool event. Mwah. Don't forget to like and subscribe, YouTube. Peace.